you're going to you're going to be around people and have your voice heard in basketball, though, you know it. It's not like you don't understand the game. You have been a basketball diehard. I'm from Washington State. I've talked to coaches. You go to games randomly in high school, and I know this because I played high school basketball there. But all of a sudden now, you, it's a different culture. Microsoft's one, basketball's another, and people have their, uh, you know, their jurisdictions and their lines, and oh, here comes the technology billionaire. And there was a couple of reports that maybe Doc wasn't upset and people were talking to him and they weren't basketball people. Can you confirm, deny that there are moments when Steve Ballmer's energy and passion can occasionally butt heads with the basketball people? I actually haven't found that. Let, let me, but let me pick on that. I'm not an engineer either. At Microsoft, I have to trust the engineers. I'm certainly not a basketball strategist. I love basketball. Doc is a basketball strategist, and I trust him and his staff. There is one thing where I think I have some value to add on the basketball side, which is, as you talked about earlier, how do you think about the cap? How do you allocate the cap? How much should go into max players? How much can you really do with min players? What do you do in between? It's yeah. a jigsaw puzzle, right. both of players and of numbers. I'm a little better on the numbers side. Yeah. How often do you talk to Doc? And do you sometimes, uh, Steve, do you think, oh, it's a rough night, rough loss? Are you more apt to go in after a win uh, or perhaps after a loss to show your support on a bad night? I talk to Doc. Whatever's happening, uh, about an hour a week on the phone. I go in and see him before every home game, and we spend some time catching up. We either talk or text after uh, every, every home game and at pretty much every away game. So we're in pretty much you know, regular communication, I would say. After games, everybody's a little tired. Doc's got to do another press conference. Uh, if it's a big win, I'm there. Uh, if it's a big loss like the one that ended our season last year in Houston – I'm there.